to the channel. Welcome to Paper and Moose. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it may be for you. I am making some tea in my motivational Just Keep Swimming Dory mug from Disney. Today is estate sale day and rummage sale day, so two for one. I am mostly excited slash interested in this estate sale. It was only listed in one local paper. There's no number to call. Um, it just says full contents. It's a two-day sale. You know, it's not listed anywhere online. There's no photos anywhere. So that means, in my mind, it's either going to be a really good sale where you, know, you can open up the drawers, go through the closets, dig through the basement, or it's going to be a glorified yard sale, which I hope it's not. It is a local house. So if it is a great sale, I'm hoping for a lot of, you know, local items, local vintage items related to my high school and our football team, because that is what I, I love to collect that. Rummage sale, for me, rummage sales are mostly about finding vintage holiday decor. I might look at the t-shirts. Again, it's a local rummage sale, so they might have local high school shirts for my, our, my school's football team. So I'd purchase those, but, you know, finding ephemera at a rummage sale, slim but you, you never know what you're going to find so that's why I'm going to check this rummage sale out so let's start swimming keep swimming keep picking digging and get to the estate sale and the rummage sale unless the estate sale is really really good and I'm just there for like hours but let's get out there and see what treasures we can find today I just saw this guy that goes to a whole bunch of estate sales walk in and there's more old men so we're going it's 15 minutes beforehand, but I usually like to obey the rules. But when I see other people going in, oh, and it's trash day. It's a free game. So let's go. Hi. Are you with the sale? Huh? Are you with the sale? Yeah. Oh, are you guys open yet? I know it's only 7.45. Excuse me? I know, are you open yet? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Is yeah, it just sure. outside? Uh, no, there's furniture and stuff on oh, the Oh, inside too? And is that open? Yeah. Alrighty, thank yeah. you. In fact, she's in there walking around. Okay. I'll check out here first. These are actually cute. Eight and a half. Yeah, she's a shoe collector. Yeah, these actually might fit me. She's lucky if she wore them once. <laughs> I'll have to try them on. All right, check in. You got one? Thank you. just uh it depends on what you're looking at i mean like mostly furniture's upstairs oh, okay so, so, that's it so. no i like little things yeah that's what he's looking for little things. <laughs> i mean you're welcome downstairs is the well, little things pretty. Yeah, yeah, she's not for sale. I can uh, see you, why. You stuff in the basement? No, oh, no, 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 just a set of dishes. That... I can see why. She's very nice. Yeah, an antique guy wanted her. <laughs> we got like three here. pictures we're taking with us. Hey, it. why not? Uh, here. All right, I'll go back outside. I mean, you're welcome to come in and look through here. Okay, right. I'll just go through down. Okay. Oh, what a nice stove. I'm gonna take a look out front. At Lincoln Tech. Put your potential to it. I'm seeing if they have any Phillipsburg glasses. Thank you. 
So I did find a ceramic Christmas tree. It does have the base 1988. It is chipped in two places, the top here and then um, on one of the branches. See, but if you put it like this, you can't really tell the top is chipped. It was $2. For $2, I can't pass up. Some of these are glued in and it does have to be cleaned. But, you know, for someone that wants to purchase a ceramic Christmas tree at the flea market, you know, I I might be able to sell this one for $10 with the, the problems. You know, I'll just repaint this. But for someone that doesn't want to pay the eBay prices and shipping, you know, this would be good. I did buy shoes for myself. These actually fit. This cute little snowman, an unpainted one. He was a dollar, 1975. And then I bought this doll. Initially the guy wanted five bucks for the tree and the shoes and the doll. And I was like, no, like I'm, I'm not gonna take the doll then because this doll, you know, for $2 I can't. But when I was packing things up, I put the doll back. He's like, oh, just take the doll. So a lot of people use these for Halloween decor, believe it or not. So I will clean her up. And then we are off to the rummage sale. So that was kind of, not kind of, that was a major bummer. An estate sale to me is when I can go through your house and, you know, go in the attic, go in the basement, go through everything. I'm never going to be able to get out of the street. <laughs> um, you know, that's an estate sale to me. This was just a yard sale because that the other sale that I went to where I picked up the snowman that was just at the house next door she had just set up too because they were having a sale you know there are a limited number of items available for purchase in the home and I, I'm not going to take the liberty and just walk around your house randomly because that's a little weird considering it's not really an estate sale they had, you know, th those boxes, they had prices for the whole box, you know, $3 a box, $5 a box. Not an estate sale, not at all. <laughs> so for those of you out there that hold estate sales or hold yard sales, please do not label your yard sale as an estate sale. I beg you, because you're just gonna have to end up, you know, answering the same question. Is there more? Is there stuff in the house? Is there stuff in the house? Because that's what people ex expect at an estate sale. You see how ramped up I am about this? Similar to yard sales. You know, I've had people, a huge yard sale, too much to mention. <laughs> and then you get there and there are two tables. <laughs> like, and where's the rest? <laughs> Where's the stuff you could have mentioned? Because it's not here. Um, that's one of the reasons why I hesitate to go to yard sales. You know, I know as a picker and someone that likes to, you know, buy used things for myself or for reselling, yard sales are a part of the game. But there are just some times when, you're like, nope, not a huge yard sale. Two tables is not a lot of stuff. Thanks for your dish towels <laughs> and your plastic cups that you saved from like Red Robin. I'm good. <laughs> but anyway, we're off to the rummage sale. We have an hour to wait until it opens. So let's see. Let's hope for some better things. Maybe more vintage Christmas. Maybe not chipped Christmas trees. But hey, you know, we take what we can get in that round. So yeah go to the rummage sale and see what rummaging we can do. Good morning. She's all the way in the end. holiday stuff is. Excuse me. 
with your ice cube. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, all right. This is it. All I have is that ghost. We're gonna go back to the kids' stuff. Yep, I'm good. Go right in. She's a pilgrim. Oh, I'm ready in bookshop. Mm -hmm. I have okay. this one. Thank you, okay. though. You want anything wrapped? Just let us know. Alrighty. Do you have a bag? I got my bag. I'm not sure the bag is up. Of course. I mean, I remember <laughs> when I got in line. Of course. I see everybody was there. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. You, you don't know what I forget sometimes. I'm a duck. There you go. Not had her. Three dollars for the set. How old is this? I adopted two grandkids. We're going to buy this. There's a little playpen. It's like brand new. It's a playpen. It opens up. No, that piece's too big for that now. Thanks. How much are the DVDs? Excuse me? Uh, oh, I got a magical list. Here's a sign. Give me a roll. I don't about that. Yeah, I can't see anything else. Hmm. Phyllis okay. Bird versus Easton, 2006. We're going to grab that. Captain's license. Piggy. No, you don't need that. You got a high chair at home. Fisher Price. Oh, we'll grab her. No sale. There's no sign on it. What are you doing? Yeah. Is that big? Sure. Or was it football? Yeah. On which side? Uh, I'm station. Oh, what color was it? Might be gone. I saw a wrestling. Yeah, that was on the other side. Darn it. Oh, yeah. It's stained. Oh. Will that come out? Well, it's a dollar. Oh, what's that one? No. Nah. Oh. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. So, to recap, um, that estate sale, not a estate sale, I got the ceramic Christmas tree, the doll, and the pair of shoes. The rummage sale, there was no vintage holiday decor. The only somewhat vintage holiday decor item that I found was this ghost. Gus. There's GUS initials on the back. No, again, this was the ceramics craze. I passed by him the first time, and then when I went back, he was still there. And I actually have two smaller ones. So he will go with my Halloween items. But this, and then... Let me see if I can find her. This pilgrim woman. or P Yeah, we'll call her... Just think like up north Massachusetts, Plymouth kind of fashion lady. Um, she was a quarter. And she's actually from the Moravian Bookshop in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. So she's probably, you know, well made. So I will add her to my Thanksgiving collection. I wish they would have had a man there, but I didn't see him. Hopefully I didn't bypass him. But I thought, you know, there'd be a table, a vintage Christmas, and there wasn't. What a shame. So what did I pick up? I picked up this 
jacket. It's Aero Pastel. I think I have one that's like um, American Eagle, but it's funny because I have one that's pretty much the same thing. But they're really comfy to wear. You know, has some nice pockets. These are good for taking it, wearing to the flea market. You know, at auction, it's light enough so that it gets, if it gets too hot, you can take it off. Um, a Easton Peeber Thanksgiving Day t-shirt. It does have some stains, so I will try and get those out. This is too large for me. It's a, it is a large. So I think what I might do is maybe be crafty when I have time and turn this into, you know, cut this image out and maybe put it on a pillow. And then I can put that on my couch during Thanksgiving time. This way the shirt is not just stuck in a, a box somewhere and not being put to use. Let's see what else. The shirt, I picked this up. No, <laughs> I didn't find it at the uh, rubbish sale. Um, taco Stacks, I got it from him. So now I will have a Taco Stacks t-shirt. I picked up, again, Easton Peberg. This is a program for our big rivalry game. You know, this is a huge, huge game in this area. And I am proud, um, you know, to be a part of the, the Phillipsburg tradition and be able to go to that. So I tried to find the holiday decor first, it wasn't much, then I went back around and I went to the kids' room and that's where I probably made most of my purchases. I'm, I'm not sure why. I, th <laughs> I think I picked her up because um, she still had the original tag. Um, Jim Henson Muppet Bean Bag, Fisher Price, ages three and up, you know. Division of the Quaker Oats Company. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if Fisher Price um, had that division, but you know, is she worth you know ten dollars? <laughs> Who knows? But again, she was probably like a quarter, so why not? People still like the Muppets. Then I also bought these. These are Viewmasters, um, 1991. There was a Viewmaster there, but it was a newer style, so I did not pick that up. So we have Mickey's World Tour. This has a Clover sticker, if you remember Clover, the store. And then this was Clover, 369. Wow, I'm surprised it was that much. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm just reading a Shredder Lee Splinter Undoes the Cage. So I picked up those two. Again, no clue what they're worth, but that's all right. Probably the best thing that I purchased was the box of farm toys. It was three. Oh, I forgot. I also bought these little guys. These were a quarter for the set cute little ducks you know they're not I thought I had one more thing I guess not they're not marked as anything you know Japan but I like their colors oh they're salt and pepper I just realized that I don't know why I didn't realize that before I mean I'm not gonna use them as salt and pepper shakers they'd be cute to put out during springtime his beak had some repair but I like the colors so again vintage decor anyway back to this farm set so they wanted three dollars for everything first I thought these were celluloid and I was gonna be like oh I really scored the jackpot I was trying to find a maker's mark or a brand on them so no I think it was marks they did some tin litho toys but I couldn't find any so I didn't know if it's you know, well, definitely, hold on. Yeah, I mean, it's it's missing the large piece because this would have connected into something else. It doesn't connect into the silo. There's a little, like, poop or a little shed. So it definitely is missing, but, you know, for $3. And then I got all the, oh, there's little, little ones. bag of all sorts of miniature farm animals. There's, I mean, these are worth it alone. A lot of people could use these for crafting. These larger ones. American Shorthorn. Oh, he's cute. Um, I'm trying to see if they have a brand. 
Clydesdale. These are interesting because they're not colored. Hmm. I think there's multiples of those cow. I might keep one of them for myself. Because why not? Tractor. These are pretty nice. These are actually really nice. With the farmer on them. Marth, another one. Oh, look at this one. Ohio. That one's really neat. It's a little, so this is rubber. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to attach to it. Toys. R and R toys it looks like. But that one's neat. It's actually like a rubber material. There's three tractors with the pieces that attach to them. Wow. What's this one? Uh uh um barbed wire fencing. That's pretty cool. Then we have another bag with the feed and the workers, the farm workers. Sacks of Okay, another bag of darker animals, more cows. These are, these are nice. Fencing and then a bag, another bag of more darker colored animals. There's some horses. Animals in action. Oh, he's nice. And then, what else? Leave. Oh, these are neat. I've never seen this kind before. It's corn and vegetables. Look at that. Or uh, not corn. I mean, it looks like it could grow up to be corn. You can grow up to whatever you want it to be. These are really neat. I think that, yeah, they go in there like that. Oh, that's cute. So, I, you know, these I might keep because these will look neat on a shelf. Um, I like them. And then maybe I'll keep a few cows, but. You know, I will probably sell the barn because it's not complete. So for $3, why not? You know, these are probably maybe the most vintage-like toys that I saw there. Oh, here it is with my contacts. The Bar, bar Rubber, Bar Rubber Productions, Sanders, Ohio. I believe that's Bar. So... Not a bad rummage sale, but again, finding a for me, finding ephemera at rummage sales is very hard to do because people aren't really donating that stuff there. They probably just throw it out unless maybe it was a binder that had sports cards in it or maybe postcards, but and I've never seen like actual just boxes of ephemera at a rummage sale. Boxes of farm toys, yes, which I'm glad that I picked up. So not too bad, got some local items some stuff to resell, some stuff to keep. And it was just fun, you know, going and seeing all the action and the craze of the rummage sale um, because it does get crazy. So I hope you all enjoyed my video today from the estate, not estate sale, and from the rummage sale and the finds you know, that I found. This weekend, there's one good day for the flea market, so I'm gonna get there, go around, and see what treasures I can find there. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I hope you all have a great rest of the day or evening, whenever you may be watching this. And until next time, thank you again, and I will see you all later.